Absolutely. Awesome. Recording is in progress. All right. So let's go through it. As Jennifer put, we are going over Richard Bland College of William and Mary. I'm sure you guys recognize the name, the College of William and Mary. So Richard Bland is actually an affiliate college, um, a, a branch, if you were, a sister college of the College of William and Mary. So I'll explain later that connection. This might be a review um, for some of you. This might be new information. So first off, who am I? My name is Katie Rivers, um, and I am the marketing manager and the student experience specialist at RBC. That means that not only do I get to go out and find your beautiful students to come to our campus, but I also get to work with them when they are on campus to help make their experience on campus as awesome, as wonderful as possible. So let's go through it. So why should your students study at Richard Bland College or RBC? Number one, it's a seamless transfer. I'll go into the structure of our program in a second, um, but I will show you how easy it is for your student to transfer to their dream college after they leave us. Number two, a prestigious degree because your student is able to transfer to the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, the College of William and Mary, and many other popular schools, um, highly ranked schools, they are able to get that prestigious degree. It's a small community oriented campus. And as someone who stays on RBC campus, I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. Um, I'll show you pictures later on of just how beautiful it is. It's lower tuition, so your student saves a lot of money by coming to us first. I'll go over the tuition later and just explain how much money your student can save. And finally, study and live with American students from day one your student is an RBC student. They are not in their own program. They are working and studying and living with American students. We have been ranked number one for best value colleges. That means that your student will get the best value by coming to RBC and then transferring. We are number seven in most popular colleges for physical science. A lot of our stu students choose to study physical science. Um, they also choose business administration and computer science, but it is one of the most popular colleges um, for associate degrees in physical science. We're also in the top 15% of best associate degree schools. Um, so I'll explain that just a little bit later. A little background information. So our college was established in 1960. So it's got that deep heritage in um, beautiful state of Virginia. We are in the middle of 750 acres of pecan trees. I'm not sure if you know what a pecan tree is, but it is this beautiful little nut that grows and our um, campus is in the middle of all of these trees, meaning the atmosphere is peaceful, perfect for studying, perfect for your student to really focus on their studies. 75% of our instruction is delivered by full-time faculty. Our population is around 2,400. Actually, this number is a little bit um, lower. I forgot to change this statistic. Um, due to COVID, our numbers on campus actually reduced just slightly. Um, but we have about 400 students living on campus. Our tuition, 19,710. I'll go into more detail later about that. Um, and our student to faculty ratio is 20 to 1, meaning that your student gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our faculty. Um, it's absolutely wonderful because your our, our faculty actually know your student. And so if there are any issues or your student is struggling in a class, your professor is able to recognize that um, immediately and reach out to staff on site for help. So where are we? We're in Virginia. I'm sure you heard of Virginia. Um, if you look at the map, you see uh, Washington, DC. I'm sure you've heard of Washington, DC, New York, um, and Boston, right? So just south of Washington, DC, we are a two and a half hour train ride from Washington, DC. Um, our population in Prince George, Virginia, um, that's a small little town where we are, is about 36,000. So it really is rural Virginia. We're 30 minutes south of Richmond, um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful location, very safe. We have been um, ranked as one of the safest campuses, so we are very proud of that. 
here are some pictures just of my personal favorites in Richmond, around Richmond, um, close to campus. If you look in the top left, this is actually um, students kayaking around Richmond. That is the state's capital, 30 minutes north of the campus. So our students will often go up to Richmond um, to do different adventures, such as kayaking, hiking, um, exploring the city. If you look below that picture in the bottom left corner, that is actually a city wide scape of uh, Richmond, Virginia. Look in the top right. I don't know if you guys like roller coasters, amusement parks. Yeah, so this is Bush Gardens. This is about an hour and a half drive from campus. So students will either make friends on campus and they'll go travel there, um, do a day trip at this um, at this amusement park. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we've had a few students do this as well. And in the bottom right corner, just because I love coffee and I recommend this place to my students every time they ask me where they can go get coffee. This place is 10 minutes from campus. It's called Demolition Coffee and our students love it because it has a very college-y student atmosphere. So they go and study there. Um, it's very, very nice and it's only 10 minutes from campus. So they will make friends with someone on campus and go there or they'll usually get an Uber, split an Uber or a taxi with one of their friends, save a little money. So now that I've given you some background information about the area, about the college, what is the GSSP? And as it pertains to RBC. So first here are our admission requirements. GPA of 2.5, IELTS score of 5.5, a TOEFL of 69, Duolingo English test of 95, and then the Pearson Brissant test of 50. Here is how our program is set up. So years one and two, your student will come to RBC. They will earn their associate's degree. Um, there is no SAT, no ACT required for admission. And from day one, they are an RBC student. They study alongside American students. They live with American students, but they earn their associate's degrees, uh, degree after two years. And then they are able to transfer. I'll go into the transfer options in just a moment, but um, some of our top transfers have been the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, and the College of William & Mary. So in years three and four, they earn their bachelor's degree. We have guaranteed transfer admissions with over 35 colleges and universities in the state of Virginia both private institutions and public institutions. So in four years, your student will earn two degrees and they will save a lot of money by coming to us for the first two years. Okay, so here are our degree options. Your student can study, we like to call these meta majors. So that means that when they come, they will get their general education requirements complete and then be able to transfer into the major that they really want whenever they transfer to their school where they will earn their bachelor's degree. So here are our options or our meta majors as we call them. So Associate of Arts, Associate of Science and General Studies, um, Associate of Science and Business Administration, very popular one, um, Associate of Science and Behavioral Science, a few of our students going into psychology will choose that one. Associate of Arts, Clinical Lab Sciences, a lot of our on the track for maybe um, doctor degrees or something medical maybe, it really depends, um, Biology Studies, Associate of Science in Life Science, Associate of Science in Math and Computer Science, our second most popular, um, actually Business Administration and Math and Computer Science are very close. Um, most of our students choose either of those degrees. And then we have Associate of Science in Physical Science. So there are options, right? So if your student is interested in a certain major, they can get all of their general education classes at RBC. They can take one or two elective courses or one or two courses that they really want to take that is in their major that kind of gives them the stepping stone, help prepare them, get an idea of what their major will be like and it helps them transfer into their major. So we often get asked a question, is RBC a community college? No, it's not. So I've outlined different reasons 
why it is not a community college. As I've already gone over, it is guaranteed admissions to 35 plus partner universities in Virginia, compared to a community college where it's limited on guaranteed admissions to four year programs. RBC is a two year selective residential, keyword there, residential liberal arts school. Community college has minimal entry requirements. At RBC, we have learner mentors, special guidance counselors to really work with your student who offer a lot of extra support, especially to the international student population. At the community college, less student-centric services, they don't really offer that extra pillow of support. Uh, the biggest difference between RBC and a community college is an apartment style residence hall. I'll show you pictures later of our gorgeous residence halls. Um, they are absolutely awesome, whereas now a community college does not offer a place for your student to live. Um, at RBC, most of our students are full-time degree-seeking students, but at a community college, they're mostly part-time and commuting students. RBC, we have full student engagement. We offer clubs, sports that they can participate in. Community college does not offer it. But if you remember anything about the difference between RBC, which is actually a junior college, if the difference between RBC and a community college, keep in mind, RBC offers that apartment style living and they offer that four year feel, that four year university feel that a community college cannot offer you. So our transference. Our students have gone all over. Some popular majors, as I mentioned, were University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, the College of William & Mary. However, that has not limited our students in any way, shape, or form. They have gone to New York University, University of Florida. Um, we have gone to Brentley University, Boston, Purdue. We had two students go, I think actually three students go to Purdue, two or three students go to Purdue. So. They're not limited, right? Um, even this last year, we had a student transfer to Penn State. So your student really does have a lot of options after RBC. Now, one of our key um, big points here with RBC is our learner mentors. They are awesome. I love them. My office is actually next to their offices in the library, and I hear them work with our students every day. They're fabulous. I love them because they really care about your student, and they really, really give insight and help support your student. So the learner mentors are like a guidance. They're very, um, they're focused on helping offer support. So if your student is struggling in a class, the professor will reach out to the learner mentor. The learner mentor will reach out to your student. They will connect with the student, see what is happening. The learner mentor will also connect with the GSSP staff, which is myself, student experience specialist, and our executive director to see how we can support our student on campus. They guide students through academic advising, so every time it's time for class registration, the learner mentors are the first place that your student will go. And they assist the learner's journey as the single point of contact, meaning if there is any time a question when, that your student has during his or her time on campus, they go to the learner mentor and the learner mentor is that one person that can tell you where to go for an answer absolutely awesome people. Um, we love working with them. So, and they really care about our students. So let me tell you about one of our students, Miss Temi. She is from Nigeria. She really chose RBC. She came in um, at a relatively young age compared to our other students. She really wanted the small classrooms. She really wanted to have that personalized touch that RBC offered and she absolutely had that experience. She really loved the fact that she lived with American students. She was able to study um, what she wanted and transfer where she wanted. RBC offered her a lot of support that she really wanted when she came to the United States. So that made us really happy to get to know her. Um, she's a wonderful story, great student testimonial for us. Um, she absolutely loved her experience here. 
and she was very happy. So if you would like to read through, I'll have this as well. And I will send these slides uh, to Jennifer who can share them with you at a later time. Yeah, thanks Jennifer. All right, I gave you a teaser about our living quarters for our students. They are an apartment style living situation, which means your students live in an apartment as a freshman in college. That is very rare um, for a student to have an entire apartment their freshman year of college in the United States. So your student will usually live in a six bedroom apartment. There are options, um, single room apartments, but a lot of them have a roommate. Really depends. I can walk you through, if you have a specific student in mind, I can walk you through um, the living situation if you would like to know more. But they have a large living room. They have a communal area where all the students can come together. They have a kitchen so they can cook at home. Um, they can save money. They can um, cook for their roommates. It really bonds the roommates together living in this kind of community. They have a washer and a dryer. They don't have to go anywhere to clean their clothes. On-site parking, that is free, um, which is awesome because a lot of colleges charge a lot of money for parking every year. So they have full internet, cable television, and a phone. Campus dining, all students are required to purchase 100 block um, per semester, which means they will have 100 meals each semester. And our on-campus housing has a fully equipped kitchen, like I mentioned. So a lot of our students will go into Richmond. We have international markets. And remember, Richmond is only 30 minutes away. So our students will go into Richmond grab some food at the international market and then come back to their apartment and cook for their roommates. It's really wonderful. It really does bond the students. Student life on campus. As I said earlier, it is actually a very fully engaging community. Um, for a junior college, this is that four year kind of college feel, but at a two year school. So we offer a variety of clubs and your student, if they do not see a club on here that they are interested in, they can go to the learner mentor and the learner mentor can give them a form and they can start their own club. So we've had students right now start an anime club. There's a programming club that started this semester for the first time by one of our students. He started his own club because there was not a club offered for programming. So now he holds these meetings like every week for programming and it's wonderful. It really shows the student leadership. Um, we have the International Club. So today actually our International Club um, hosted an event which was absolutely so much fun. It was in celebration of International Education Week. Um, so very, it offers a lot of um, leadership positions for your student. We also have um, the SGA, Student Government. We've had four students, I believe, this semester be a part of Student Government or at least apply to a Student Government. Wonderful. We had one student meet with the governor um, earlier this year or earlier this term through the student government. So lots of leadership opportunities that really boost their resume, helps prepare them to transfer to their dream college. We also have athletics. Um, if you saw a picture earlier, there were two soccer players from Portugal and they um, we've had soccer players, we've had basketball players, so your student really does have a lot of options. All right, let's talk money. Here is our current tuition. So our, our tuition is 19500 I think I had it slightly different before. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to change it, but here is our accurate numbers, 19500 Our mandatory student fees, health insurance, the meal plan based on the 100 block plan and accommodation starts at 7,000. So total per year, $35,000. Your student will save a lot of money because look at, if you look at international student tuition for University of Virginia, I believe it's at 58,000 if I checked last time correctly. So your, your student, yeah, right, Jennifer, it's, it's, a, it's a steep price for international students. So you really do save a 
good chunk of change by coming to us first. Now, scholarship opportunities. We love scholarships, right? Um, I love telling our students and agents about our scholarship opportunities because RBC does offer a lot. So RBC gives a housing scholarship that is $2,000 by RBC to help um, ease the cost of housing accommodations when your student comes on campus. That's from RBC, um, absolutely wonderful, very giving. It's from our president, actually, of RBC that offers this scholarship. And she is a wonderful woman, um, does a lot for our GSSP. We also have family bursary. So if you have siblings, we actually have two sets of twins here this year. So we get all the twins here at RBC. We love it. Um, they get 10% off of tuition. So save a little bit there. And then we have merit scholarship. This is left to the discretion of the executive director, so Dr. Sharon. And so the students apply at the end of the fall term, every year just in the fall term, they submit an essay. And in the essay, they outline their academic qualifications. Dr. Sharon also pulls their academic record to make sure that they are lining up what they say. Um, but they, she also checks for student engagement. If your student is following through on um, actively participating in the community. So it really shows that you are a well-rounded student. Um, and then she offers the scholarship. She evaluates all the applications and looks and awards the merit scholarship in the spring term. So you've seen how your student lives at RBC. Um, you feel free to ask questions later about specific living conditions or anything you have about life at RBC. But now let's kind of shift into after RBC. And this is actually a picture from one of our students. I believe he went to Michigan. I believe he graduated in the spring term. I think it was Michigan or Minnesota. Michigan, I take it back as Michigan. So, um, but he was one of our students from Korea. We were very proud of him. Um, he did a great job. So I'm gonna go into the transfer opportunities after your student leaves our college. So we have the College of William & Mary. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Top 10 public schools, the second oldest college. So your student will earn their Associates in Arts or Science degree, get a 3.25 GPA, TOEFL score of 100, and they completed the prerequisite courses in, April, in, the, in order to transfer, and that's how your student can go to the College of William & Mary. We also offer a bridge program, um, which allows your student to take classes at William & Mary while they are at RBC. They get William & Mary credit at the RBC price. It's a long, arduous process I can go through with you guys if you have any specific questions, but that's something your student can look at as an option. We have had, I believe, three or four students apply for it in the, this just this fall term. Very competitive, but if your student is able to get in, wonderful opportunity, really helps prepare them if they really want to go to the College of William & Mary. <laughs> Another opportunity, the University of Virginia number four in top public schools, number eight in their business program. And their transfer requirements, of course, get your RVC degree, get a 3.4 GPA, so a little more competitive um, than at the College of William & Mary. There is no specific TOEFL or English score. However, we like to keep the baseline of TOEFL of 100 to make sure that your student really fulfills those requirements to get into RBC or to get into the University of Virginia. So we like to just say across the board, TOEFL of 100. And of course, complete the courses at RBC to successfully transfer. Virginia Tech is our most popular transfer. Most of our students who are going into engineering or computer science, or even business degrees, um, choose Virginia Tech because Virginia Tech is very competitive. Um, it has a wonderful community though, and all of our students who have actually transferred to Virginia Tech really have loved their experience. So of course the transfer requirements are in your degree at RBC, 3.4 GPA. So like I said, it's a little more competitive like University of Virginia. 
receive grades of C or better for any and all courses. So not a lot of wiggle room there. They have high standards. And then successful completion of specific prerequisite courses, any other requirements um, defined by the agreement. So your student will work very closely with the learning mentor from day one. The day of orientation, they will actually meet with the learner mentor and the GSSP staff to walk through their degree options. They are able to meet with the learner mentor as often as they want, as well as um, our executive director or, our G or any other GSSP staff to go through the prerequisites, to go through the transfer process. So there are no questions at the end of your term. There are no um, unknowns. Some of our other four-year transfers, like I said earlier, public institutions, private institutions, here's a list of them, over 35. Um, we have guaranteed admissions agreements with every one of these universities. As you can see, we have Radford, Old Dominion, uh, some of our students have transferred to VCU, I believe. George Mason, we have a couple of students at George Mason, also a great college. So the options are endless here. A lot of our students do not transfer um, to colleges in the state of Virginia, though. A majority, I believe I calculated at 69% of our students, actually transfer to colleges outside of the state of Virginia. So they go all over the country. Not limited here. These are just their guaranteed admissions to go here. Important dates coming up for our spring term. We have our application deadline for the spring of December 14th. They have to submit all their documents, financial documents, all of their information by December 19th. And arrival date is January 13th. So they're able to start classes on January 17th. I can update you on some fall dates once they have been confirmed and I'll send those to Jennifer to send out to you as well. But yeah, that is just a general overview. I know this might've been review for a lot of you, but if you have any questions, please feel free, go for it. Uh, okay, uh, can I can I just do a little um, uh, interlude before the yes. question and answer session? Okay, so absolutely. I'll, I'll do share. You stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this will be very quick. Let me just find my. Oh, how come I can't? Uh, sorry. Um, oh, I can't find it. Um, or um, Katie, do you have the list of the majors that you showed me? I do. Let me pull that up. Yeah, because I don't know why I can't find it. No, you're good. You know, like I have it, but the screen sharing thing, like it doesn't, it's not showing up. So. Right, right. So. Okay, the majors list. Uh, yeah, to okay. uh, William and Mary and. Uh, Here you Chinese. go. Okay. Do you see it? Yeah. So I'm going to speak in Chinese. Uh, so, 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 uh, 那也许学生可能会有兴趣。那另外当然,他也有各种主修都有啦。就比如说电脑科学啊,或者是心理学啊,社会学啊,甚至音乐啊,舞蹈这些,其实William and Mary也都有。Can you scroll down? OK, 那 UVA的话,其实,因为这个学校其实非常非常的有名。那它一些就是, 一些比较偏人文科学类的学科呢，应该是它比较强项的地方。但是我想要主要跟大家推荐的其实是 Virginia Tech，因为呢，Virginia Tech其实有很多的科系。
可以供选择，比如说大家可以看到，就是上面各种 engineering 的科系，因为呃，它是呃。<咳>就是 Tech University 嘛，所以说其实它很多很多就是啊、呃，就是比较偏科学类、工程学类这样子的科系可以选择，像是它有就是航太科学啊，然后它有就是啊呃,呃化学啊、生物科学啊，然后土木工程啊，甚至还有这个 Construction Engineering。And management 就是连这一这一类的主修都有。那另外呢，有时候我们会有学生，就是呃，尤其是女生嘛，就是会问说 fashion design。那其实呢，啊、呃、，Virginia Tech 它有就是 fashion design and merchandising， fashion merchandising and design。所以说，如果你们有学生就是想要念啊、呃、fashion design， 可是呢没有办法说直接去申请，就是呃。这一类的学校，因为可能需要作品集嘛，那欢迎可以到就是 RBC， 然后呢，接着就是再 transfer 到 Virginia Tech。OK， 好，那呃，我这部分就先这样。那大家有没有什么问题呢 ？So， 呃、uh, ，if you have any questions， 呃、uh, ，you can unmute your mic or just type in、um, our chat box。And、uh, Katie and I will do our best to answer you. 有没有人有问题呢？可以打在那个呃、uh, 那个对话对话框里面。如果有问题的话，嗯嗯。I think someone has a question because someone、um, direct messaged me. Okay. Yeah, but、uh, that person might have stepped aside for a minute. So、uh, let me just check their question.、Uh, so, what kind of American student,、uh, local American students, usually go to RBC? I'm, I'm sorry, I read a question by Danny Chang.、Oh, but、okay. what was your Well, okay. Let me answer his first. So,、mm -hmm. students will take general education for English two courses.、Um, why do William and Mary and UVA need TOEFL one hundred? So, William and Mary, their guidelines、uh, is TOEFL of one hundred. We highly recommend the University of Virginia TOEFL being one hundred. That is their admission requirements to be able to transfer from、uh, from RBC to the College of William and Mary. Don't worry, because if you look at our TOEFL score between our students,、um, the lowest is at sixty nine coming in. They have a lot of opportunities to improve their English upon entry. We have TOEFL workshops. We offer writing center.、Um, they can attend the writing center to help improve. So we're not really worried about them achieving that TOEFL one hundred when they go to the College of William and Mary. However, that is just their requirement whenever they transfer from RBC. UVA continues to be、um, is a higher GPA requirement to transfer. So we like to say a TOEFL 100 is really the baseline、um, to be able to transfer to those top three universities. I hope that answered your question.、Mm -hmm. Is it easy to take TOEFL at RBC? Yes,、um, we actually had a student this morning take the TOEFL. I'm not sure where she took it. To be honest, but she easily accessible. Our students are able to take it very easily. I know that.、Um, so, I, I have a question. So,、uh, besides、um, those three universities,、um, you also showed a, a slide with like all the other partner universities. So, do they all have their own specific requirements for transfer students? So they come in as a freshman and sophomore, but whenever they transfer, we do not have guaranteed transfer agreements with those other universities. So they are just transferring their credits, and they will、mm -hmm. look at their、um, academic qualifications whenever they transfer. So they're just looking at as transfer,、um, looking at the courses whenever they go into their university.、Mm -hmm. Okay,、uh, we have a. Right. Yeah,、um, yeah. Tony. That, that, that's the first.、Uh, Tony is the one who.、Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So Taiwanese parents are very worried about safety. Will students be safe on campus? Yes.
Um, your students are well taken care of because it is a smaller community. I can also send a video to Jennifer that shows um, the panorama of our campus. It just shows you how community oriented we are because it's in the middle of these trees. It's not in a city. It is the closest city is a 10 minute drive. The closest big city is a 30 minute drive. So they are really focused on their studies and they're really in this warm environment where everybody knows everybody. Your professors know your students. The staff really know your students. It's a very protective university. The police presence, there. They are on it. So whenever we, just an example, we had students um, whenever they arrived, they came in at one o'clock in the morning. I was in contact with the students. I had arranged pickup from the airport for the students, so they had transportation. However, the transportation dropped them off at the wrong location. I was on the phone with the student and I understood what was happening. So I called the police on campus. They picked up our students and escorted them to their rooms in the dorm. So they went out of their way within a matter of minutes to help take care of our students. I was very proud of them. What kind of local American students go to RBC? So a lot of our students are from the Richmond area. They are small town Virginia people, very good hearted people. They are really kind to our students. They love that we have international students on campus. They want to participate in the international students lives. They ask our international students all the time to make special dishes or um, attend different events with them. So I really don't worry about our students making friends. They easily make friends with the RBC students. One of our, actually, no, two to three of our RBC, of our international students are staying with one of their roommates over Thanksgiving and Christmas break because they became friends with this guy, um, with this other student who was living in the dorms. It, I was like, I was surprised, but I was so happy because these guys were really worried about having a place to stay over Christmas. And this other RBC student was like, please stay with my family. And so that's what they're doing over the break. So it's really, really warming to see how much they care for our students. How many times does RBC arrange the shuttles to Richmond to the supermarkets? So every week changes just slightly because the shuttle, um, because the drivers have different schedules. However, at least once a week is the goal. Most of the time it's a couple of times a week. The schedule does change depending on the driver, but it rounds out to about once a week at least. A lot of our students um, actually like I said earlier, they make friends. We had a student buy a car, <laughs> so he drives some of our students. Um, so I miss the pecan uh, treats around the campus. Yeah, did you um, visit campus, Danny? Yep. You did you? That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the pecan, the pecan trees are awesome. I love um, making a pecan pie out of them. So we'll go out there and pick up pecans all the time. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Beautiful campus. I, I just thought of a question. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so um, like, are, are there students? No, actually, uh, are there part time job opportunities on campus for students who would like to work a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, several of our students are doing work studies this term, so they need to apply for a social security number, and that might take a while, but all of um, all of our students have the option of doing work studies on campus. It is part time, starts at $11 an hour. So well, this, what do they do? So the jobs vary. They can be in the library. They can be helping IT. We have one of our students interning at IT or doing a work study in um, with the IT department. They can work in the campus bookstore, variety, small jobs on campus. A um, lot of opportunity, though. Great questions, guys. Uh, I was just wondering. Um, like what are the meal options if they don't want to cook? Like you said, there uh, there's like a hundred meals, but like what what are they? Like what kind of food? So it's buffet style. 
your student has an option. They usually have two to three meat varieties. We also have a lot of veggies for the vegetarians, fish, um, a great salad bar. So it's, it's a very well-rounded meal plan for our students, which I have not heard a complaint from our students this term about the food. They actually really like the food, which is great. You don't always hear that about college campuses, but our um, cafeteria staff are really awesome. So um, it's it's a small town, right? Like, would you agree? Correct. Okay, so yeah. if, so if on the weekend students would like to visit like other big cities or bigger cities, <laughs> like uh, can you like do a little introductions to like the surrounding cities? Yeah. So getting our students to leave campus is really hard. All of our students are very studious. They focus on their studies. They stay in their dorm, and they really are our classes are relatively difficult. So not that our students struggle because all of our students have wonderful grades, but they definitely spend a lot of time just studying. So getting them to actually explore Richmond or explore Washington, D.C. is kind of difficult sometimes. But um, our students, for example, will go in the weekend to Richmond. Like I said, 30 minute drive north. They will share a Uber, a taxi, they will hop in the car with their friend, go to the international market, they'll go to the movies. There is another college in Richmond called Virginia Commonwealth University, and some of our students can go hang out in the party side of town where they can meet other college students and really explore that. Not of a lot of our students choose to do that, though. We have students go to Washington, D.C. They can take a two and a half hour train ride to D.C., only cost nine dollars if they book in advance it's yeah it's <laughs> i was surprised how cheap it was they have to book a little far, far in advance but it goes up to like 25 dollars. but our students are choosing to go to dc they're actually taking the train to dc for uh not their christmas their thanksgiving break they're going with some friends to dc a small group of our students are and of course, they get to go see all those famous sites that they've heard about and really want to explore. So a lot of opportunities. But like I said, our students really like to stay on campus. They really like the environment. They love the other students. They make friends. They have a lot of engagement on campus, such as movie nights. The RAs are wonderful. They really love our students, take care of our students. They offer a lot of activities every week, um, different different kind of events so a lot of soccer games on campus as well because we have two soccer players players on our team this year our students go to support our soccer players which is so cool to watch um to watch our students really go up and cheer for our guys so uh so so the dor dorms are um apartment style can you describe it a little bit like what what do the rooms look like yeah, they're relatively newer. So 2017, I believe, is when they were built. Fully furnished. I've seen the dorms. They're absolutely awesome because the kitchen is a full kitchen. They have an oven. They have a microwave. They have the washer and dryer. They do have to share their bathroom, but the bathrooms are relatively furnished. The rooms are nice, but I just worry the food selections are not good enough for Taiwanese students. Yeah, absolutely. So it is American food. They Our faculty does focus on American food. Our variety in food does focus on um, like Mexican food. Um, a lot of our students really love the Mexican food that they offered, but I can see where your concern is. A lot of our students actually cook in their dorms. They choose, like I said, go to the international market and cook, um, grab their foods, come back to their dorm and cook things that make them think of home. So completely agree. Okay. Uh, do you know how, roommates are assigned like do they do like a survey and then try to put um, like-minded students together or is it random it's not random no our students get special selection they get priority with um with their application because they are international students housing is guaranteed so when your student is accepted and they go through the process of pre-arrival, I will work with them personally to go through the online application to get their housing. Once they get their housing, um, we also talk with the director of housing, walk through different options. We consider personalities, but 
we have a mixture. Um, we often combine international students and then we include a couple of other um, American students as well just so they're not completely removed. Of course, in the next year, they have the ability to change their selection. They can change, they can request different housing. However, um, it is really based off of what they put in the questionnaire and what they put in their application when they apply. Okay, yeah. uh, Is there any other questions? Are there any other questions? Feel free to uh, type in the chat box or just speak. Uh, yeah, I'll mute the mic and speak. Um, oh. Great questions, guys. Very nice. <laughs> so uh, you'll send me the PowerPoint and the video links, and then I'll um, send these to all our uh, counselors, including those who couldn't attend this seminar. Absolutely, I'll do that as soon as this call is over. Does uh, RBC arrange pickup from IAH? No. Unfortunately, if a student, we request that the student fly into um, Richmond, if they choose to fly into IAH, we've had students actually get on the train and travel to the Petersburg station where we will pick them up. Do, do you have contacts with local um, like companies that do, you know- We do. Yeah, so uh, so if anyone um, has a students that need that kind of service, then mm -hmm. feel free to contact us. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. In, in the Richmond area, we can arrange pickup as long as they are in the Richmond area. Um, but once you get up into DC, they will need to find transportation down to Richmond where we can there then pick them up. So it's better to just fly into Richmond. Yes, we. I, in the pre-arrival information, I walk through different options um, and our option, our primary option is to go to Richmond International Airport. Uh, can, like, can you just clarify the scholarship? Because um, there's a on-campus scholarship of 2000 USD, but I think we also have a GSSP scholarship of 2000. So together it's 4000 USD, right? Yes, um, coming together, it comes up to 4,000. Yep, correct. Okay. Yep. A very funny question, is Uber accessible to RBC to pick up students? That is a really good question. Uh, RBC is about, it's 30 minutes outside of Richmond, so you might think it might be difficult to get an Uber. I have heard one or two times where it was difficult to get an Uber, but I've arranged Uber myself. Our staff has used Uber out to the campus. We haven't really had that many major issues. Sometimes it takes it a little while, so you might want to book Uber in advance. So request pickup at a certain time just to ensure. And they've been relatively reliable. So, but I have heard of a couple of questions or a couple of instances where students have struggled. But well, some some really good questions from Denny. Yeah, I'm so happy that you visited our campus. When did you when did you visit? He's visited all the Navitas campuses. Before. Ah, cool. Yeah. 2017. Awesome. Yeah, very new in the partnership. It's a beautiful campus, by far the most beautiful campus I believe I've ever worked on. Um, really awesome. Wonderful staff. I really love the RBC staff because they know all of our students by name. They sincerely know each student by name. Our president of the college knows our students by name. All right, I think uh, it's time for us to wrap up this uh, online seminar. So thank you so much to everyone who attended and also thank you to Katie, Katie for um, the wonderful presentation. So, um, Anything you would like to say, Katie? Thank you guys um, for listening and the wonderful questions. Please feel free to reach out to Jennifer if you need any more information. I am more than happy to provide it. I have a lot of tools in my toolbox that I can help you really show your students what RBC is all about. Uh, and if they want to arrange for a student to speak with you, they can't, right? Absolutely. I can share my Calendly link with you, Jennifer, and you can give it to them. Okay, thank you.
All right. So thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Have a nice. Bye guys. Have a nice uh, night. I guess.